What is up you guys? It's me, Galen Larris, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. I get a lot of questions and comments, surprisingly, on my teeth, which is something I never expected to hear from people, but I get a lot of questions about it. So I thought I'd make a really quick video, I promise it's gonna be real quick, of the things that I use for my whitening teeth at home routine, oral care, Oral hygiene? I don't know what we're gonna call this video yet, <laughs> but I thought I would share these with you guys. And I've mentioned them before in my summertime hygiene routine video, but it's at the end. And so sometimes people don't make it all the way to the end of that video. So I wanted to make it its own video. I know some of you guys have performances coming up or you need to take headshots or a date or I don't know, something where you really wanna feel more confident about your appearance and having really clean white teeth can help that. So. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. The first product that I use to whiten my teeth at home are the Crest 3D White Strips. Now, I don't have these on hand, so I will insert a photo somewhere in the atmosphere. Uh, but that's what I use. I've been using those forever. I have noticed they used to include a month's worth in the pack, and now they only include two weeks. So, um, Crest, I noticed because the price didn't change, but they work, you guys. I promise you will see results from these in about three days. None of this is sponsored. This is just me speaking off the cuff from my experience. You will see results absolutely within a week, um, but most likely within three days. Now you will probably notice that you may see a little bit of spots on your teeth or something like that. So that's just because it is, you know, whitening them, but some stains are deeper than others. So it's trying to balance out those different stains. And so some take longer than others, but definitely after two weeks, you should see a huge difference. They are so effective and they also have a bunch of different types, I guess you could say, different levels, different strengths. I love a whitey white smile ultra white, so that's why I use this one. But there's also a couple of other ones that you can pick from. Now with these, it's just a strip that you put on your teeth. I put them on while I'm like doing my nighttime routine. And then you just let them sit on there for however, I can't remember how many minutes, the box says how many minutes. Uh, so go ahead and read the box, read the box. <laughs> I've gotten so many people on these. My best friend, she just started using them and she's like, oh my gosh, my teeth already look white. My brother, my mom, I love these strips. Um, they're easy to get your hands on. They are on the little pricey side, but they're the most expensive thing that you're gonna see in this whole video. And I think for white, white teeth when you are a performer or when you just want to feel more confident, I think it's totally worth it. I have found one, do not brush your teeth immediately before putting them on. When you brush your teeth, they're going to cause little micro scrapies on your gums and stuff like that. And it can make the strips actually sting more. They don't sting if you don't do that. But if you do brush your teeth immediately before, then they will sting a little bit. So keep that in mind. Also, something I will say, don't fall asleep in them. Don't fall asleep in them. I don't think I ever have, but I've gotten pretty close and you will feel your teeth feel very, very sensitive afterward. Everything has its cons, you know? And one of the cons, especially if you kind of overuse them, which I have gone through a phase where I overuse them, um, but something that does come with whitening your teeth is sensitivity. But I have noticed a lot of improvement with the toothpaste that I've been using. So I used to use the Crest 3D white toothpaste, but like I said, I have been experiencing more sensitivity than I used to, or at least I was about a month ago. But I do really feel a difference with this Enamel Guard toothpaste. Now this is just, you know, a little Kroger brand, nothing special. But the active ingredients are one potassium nitrate, which is for the anti-hypersense Ugh, anti-hypersensitivity. That's the word. Um, and then the other ingredient is sodium fluoride for anti-cavity. I don't believe the Crest 3D White has the anti-hypersensitivity element to it, and this really does help. It says, uh, compared to the active ingredients in Sensodyne Pro Namel, so if you would rather use like a name brand version, try Sensodyne, but I've seen a huge improvement with this and I think it just helps remineralize the enamel on your teeth, which is a natural process. So your teeth actually do this as you eat, 
as you live life. The minerals from things that you eat, it kind of refills in some of the holes and little spaces of protection in your enamel over time that can come from just eating and all that kind of stuff. So it's a natural process that happens, but we can aid that process with the different toothpaste and different oral hygiene things that we use. Now, obviously I can't forget my toothbrush. I use just a regular, regular toothbrush. I was first using a medium level bristle, but I found that for me that only lasted about two months and then I had to repurchase. And they say that you should replace your toothbrush every three to four months. So I've been using a firm toothbrush. At the grocery store, I buy a multi-pack and then after a couple months, I can just switch it out. But with a firm toothbrush, you gotta brush gentler, gent, gentler, because you can actually damage your teeth brushing really, really hard with a firm toothbrush. So that's something else I've learned. If you are going to use a firm toothbrush, firm toothbrushes can actually, again, inhibit that remineralizing process. It can kind of scrape your teeth. So make sure you're using it gently in circular motions, all that good stuff, getting all the way in the back and uh, on the sides. The next thing that I use obviously is you gotta floss. If you don't floss, the cracks where your teeth join together will be yellow even though you use the whitening strips. So when you use the whitening strips, it lays flat across your teeth, but it is harder to get it to sit into those little divots and crevices. And so that's what floss is for. I know, I know, I assume that we all floss, but sometimes we forget, you know, and that's okay, it's normal. You know, just go back at it. Make sure you do, a, I do a triple knot, but I've never had braces before. So some people who have braces, their teeth sit a little bit closer together. So maybe that might be different for you. I've never had braces, but I need them. This overbite does need them, but it's white though, so it's all good. Next up for my whitening teeth at home routine is this anti-cavity mouth rinse. I got this from Target, it's the Up and Up brand, but the active ingredients on it are the exact same as the Crest brand that I used to use before. So um, I found that this works just as well. It's a little bit more affordable. And this one's also purple, the other one isn't. Um, and if you know anything about color theory, then you know that purple cancels out yellow. So if you have stains on your teeth, just putting something purple on top of them at all will help kind of make it look more white. Um, but I really like it. It's way more cost effective and same active ingredients. So this is what I have been using. Also, I admittedly, there was a time where I was like, I don't need mouthwash. I'm just gonna brush my teeth really well, gonna brush my tongue really well. And uh, if that's disgusting, hey, you know. Uh, but I was doing that and I noticed that because I have had one, two, three, four wisdom teeth taken out. I have these extra spaces in the back of my mouth, which can collect nastiness, gunk, bacteria. And so if you have had teeth removed, mouthwash is gonna be your best friend um, because it kind of helps swish around things out of those little cracks and crevices that are in the back of your mouth. Now, the last thing that I use at home and I always mention this whenever I talk about my teeth. It's so important to keep your tongue clean. It's so important, it's so important. So obviously first thing I do is I brush my tongue. So I put toothbrush, put toothbrush on my toothpaste. That's not how it works. Put toothpaste on my toothbrush. I brush my teeth for, you know, roughly two minutes or whatever. And then I put more toothpaste on my toothbrush again, and I just focus on my tongue for another two minutes, gently. And then I like to go in with my tongue scraper. So I purchased this about a year or two ago. Such a game changer, such a game changer. It can get way back on your tongue and it helps you just scrape everything off. And I'm telling you, my tongue has never felt more clean. I like this one because it's metal. I know they make some plastic ones. They're just not my jam. Um, so I will link this down below in the description box um, from Amazon, because that's where I got it. And it comes in a pack of two. So one for you and one for your boo. Y'all can have clean tongues. Um, but I love this, absolutely love it. As someone who tends to be more on the mucusy side, if you're someone who, but this video is already about teeth, right? It's about your mouth, so it's already gross. If you're someone who gets mucusy 
just naturally you have hay fever or springtime's coming up and all that stuff, you really wanna take time to clean your tongue because all that mucus is coming from your throat and nose area and it's sitting back there and that's where your tongue is and then stuff can just, ugh, it just sits there and it makes its way forward over time. So really, really go at your tongue. And that is it, you guys. I wanted to just mention these products really, really quickly because like I said, I get a lot of questions about it. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if there are any other hygiene related videos you'd want to see from me, that's such a weird request, but let me know down in the comments. I will see you guys in my next video next weekend. Later.